Hey you guys. So tonight we get to talk about, gosh, I mean, I have to say that this might be one of my favorite body systems. And we're, so the topic for this evening is the endocrine system. And we're following up an entire six lecture series on the nervous system with the lecture on the endocrine system, and there's a really specific reason for that organization. If you think about the nervous system, we spent six lectures getting super solid with the idea that sensory input has to somehow come in and be communicated through the nervous system to a neural integrator, brain or spinal cord, to an outgoing message that instructs effectors or doers about what should be done next. So the nervous system was this whole coordinating, integrating system allowing communication in the body. The endocrine system is also a big integrating, coordinating system. And in fact, the nervous system and the endocrine system work really closely together. There are a lot of similarities between the nervous system and the endocrine system. In fact, the hypothalamus, as you well know at this point, a lovely brain structure that you find inside your head, the hypothalamus is really the, the, the person in charge of coordinating the entire endocrine system almost. So a brain structure, a nervous system structure, is coordinating this endocrine system setup. So we're going to look at um, the endocrine system. We're going to look at the anatomy. We're going to look at the histology of the endocrine system. But before we go there, I want to take some time to really compare the two integrators. You have good experience with the nervous system. I mean, you have lots of experience with the nervous system. Hopefully it wasn't all bad. And now let's, let's build on what we know about the nervous system. Let's use the structure that we know for the nervous system to understand uh, the endocrine system and how it functions. So that's where we're going to start. Okay, let's roll. <laughs> 